What's up guys, in this video I want to deal with a problem that looks like you should be factoring by grouping, but it's actually going to be using substitution. All right, now again, there's a reason why this looks like substitution because you can see that these have exactly the same um, expression inside parentheses. So a lot of times students want to go ahead and factor them out. The problem though in this case is I don't have anything with the 72. So I'm actually not going to be using a factoring by grouping in this case or just a factoring out this common expression. There is one thing that I do recognize. I do recognize here this relationship. If I kind of like forget about the x squared minus x and let's just maybe use like a different variable, something maybe simpler, maybe something like a u, then this expression would look something like this. So this is something that's very important. It's like this relationship that we can look at and not always are you gonna see it so quickly, but I think the more practice that you get with this, you recognize this quadratic relationship and you can see that, oh, you know what? Why don't I just replace the x squared minus x with a u? And I want you to see like that's the exact same thing. Now, technically what I did in this case is I said, let u equal to an x squared minus x. Now, and this is gonna be really helpful. And again, you don't need to use u, you could use m or n or p or whatever may be the case. The whole idea is by replacing a x squared minus x with a u, I now have a quadratic that is much easier for me to be able to identify like what two numbers multiply to give me 72 add to give me negative 18, right? I'm not really worried about trying to figure out what these expressions stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna focus on saying, all right, Let's just go ahead and factor this. Let's forget about this problem for a second. Let's just go ahead and factor this down based on our information for factoring quadratics. So I need to think about what two numbers multiply to give me um, 18 that are gonna multiply to give me a 72. And let's go ahead and think about this. I know that 12 is going to be visible by eight, right? But eight times nine uh, is gonna be 72. That's gonna give me a 17. So it's close, but it's not gonna work. So I'm thinking about another number. I know 12, right, is going to be divisible to that. And then yeah, 12 times five is going to be a 60. It's 12, 72, oh yeah. So therefore, since they both need to multiply to give me a positive 72, add to give me a negative 18, that's gonna be a u minus six, a u minus 12. Okay, so here is where now things can get um, interesting, right? So I have a u minus six times u minus two, so I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite that over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna now plug back in the x squared minus x in for the u, right? Because now I've factored this down based on this information, but now I can say, let x squared minus x represent our u. So when I'm doing that though, now I'm gonna have these new expressions that are going to look a little bit different, but let's go ahead and simplify them out. And again, we recognize we have two more quadratic trinomials. So therefore, I'm gonna to need to go ahead and factor these down one more time. Okay, so now we just gotta do the same process that we did over here. What two numbers multiply? Give me negative six, add give me a negative one. That means the difference here is gonna be one. I'm thinking three and two, right? And therefore it'd be a negative three and a positive two. And then over here, I'm looking at what two numbers multiply to give me negative 12. Also, they have a difference of one. So I'm thinking four and three. Since my middle term is negative, I want the larger number to be negative. So that's gonna be an x minus four or x plus three. Now we've taken this polynomial, which looked a little difficult, use substitution to simplify it, to factor it completely. Now that you have the basic understanding of substitution with expressions, let's look at another problem where we're gonna use substitution that comes up all the time in our studies. I'll see you in the next video.